Okay, I have been asked by a number of viewers where all the video encoding jobs have gone. So in this video, I'm going to deal with that question and give you an answer as to what's going on. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are on the thetatoken.org website. And according to their website, as of the date of this video, there are 30,289 edge nodes operating, and there are 3,913 guardian nodes operating. So they've expressed a desire to 10x the number of guardian nodes over the next year, which is a pretty aggressive growth in, in the number of guardian nodes. But the, the point that I want to make with this video is specifically that the number of edge nodes has grown by at least double and maybe close to tripling from roughly two to three months ago. The last time I looked at the number it was like you know, 11,000, 12,000, so 24,000 would be doubling. So it's probably two and a half times what it was just a few months back. And people want to know about the significant drop off in the number of video encoding jobs. And the reason that that is occurring is because the video encoding jobs are still in beta testing. So the only source for video encoding jobs right now is from Theta TV. And so let's just assign a number for the sake of argument here. If Theta TV has 10,000 video encoding jobs a day when there was only 10,000 edge nodes, then essentially every edge node would be getting one video encoding job per day if those jobs were spread out evenly amongst all of the edge nodes that were operating. Now, that number, the number of video encoding jobs, isn't really going to change significantly significantly and you've essentially got triple or close to it the number of edge nodes so if they continue to assign them evenly to all of the edge nodes out there then you would see probably one every three days maybe so you know as the number of edge nodes grows and the number of video encoding jobs coming from theta tv stays relatively static you're going to see a drop off of the number of video encoding jobs because there's not enough to go around and so they are going to assign them my guess is they're probably assigning them based on the cpu performance of the edge nodes out there so if there's 30,000 edge nodes and there's only 10,000 jobs they're going to look at the top 10,000 edge nodes as far as their performance in video encoding and that's who's going to get those jobs so if you've got a, a relatively slow you know moderately powered of a computer they know that uh, your computer takes longer to process one of those jobs so they're not going to give it to you they're going to give it to somebody who is running a computer say three four times as powerful as you just to give you an example let's say your computer has four cores and somebody else's computer has 16 core well obviously the 16 core all else being equal the 16 core computer is going to process a video encoding job three to four times faster than the one with just four cores so they're the ones that are going to get that video encoding job because they want those jobs done as quickly as possible so uh, i believe that's what's going on and you know i know when i first started running an edge node i was getting a video encoding job almost every day and i've got a four core computer and it's about uh, I don't know seven eight years old by now and so it's it's slow by comparison to somebody that goes out and buys a brand new computer today is probably going to be a lot more efficient at processing those jobs so I've seen the number of jobs that I get drop from almost one every day to now you know maybe one a week so I think that's what's going on that's my theory anyway so hopefully that was helpful Okay, if you found this helpful, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me if you would on your way out. And I'll see you in the next video.